Hi everyone, I'm Charlene Habermeyer of Good Parenting Brighter Children, and this is Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents. Today I want to talk about parenting, one aspect of parenting. I want you to consider yourself a professional. So we're going to talk about parenting like a pro. In 2007, the comedian uh, Steve Martin, he was in, uh, interviewed by Charlie Rose, and he was asked, he actually, Steve Martin's a proficient uh, banjo player, and he was asked, you know, what got you started in this, how long have you been practicing, and so forth, and he says, well, I've been working on this, and I've been practicing for 40 years, and he said, one thing I've learned about anything that you wanted to become proficient at is sticking with it, and that's what it is with parenting as well. I've been a parent for 40 years, and I will attest to the fact, like Steve Martin, if you stick with it, you're going to learn a certain amount of proficiency, and you'll learn a lot of things along the way. I was at a luncheon, this is many, many years ago, and I was sitting next to a woman who I swear she had to be an astrophysicist, she was brilliant, and she asked me what I did. You know, who knows why I said this, but I kind of blurted it out. I said, I'm a professional parent. Actually, I'm a professional mom. And she kind of looked at me strangely, and but I thought to myself, wow, I like the sound of that, I like the ring of that. And I thought, okay, that's how I'm going to look at myself. Yes, I have a degree, and I have a couple of degrees, but guess what? I like the idea of being a PP, a professional parent. It really doesn't matter if you have those letters behind your name as a parent, because let me tell you, the work will, that you will do with your kids in the arena of parenting is harder work than any other work that you will ever do your entire life. And you will learn things from your kids that you can't learn in any other way. So it is an amazing thing. But let me give you a few tips about uh, parenting. First of all, consider yourself a professional. If people ask you, what do you do? Say, I'm a professional parent. And tell them why. I'm doing a lot more work than is ever done in the ivory tower or at any other kind of nine to five job. So consider yourself a professional. The other thing that might be a little bit more difficult for you, especially if you're a young person in their 20 or 30s, is to listen to old people. When I say old people, I'm talking about people, anybody over the age of 50. You know, I had a, an epiphany and it took me a lot, a lot of years, but I realized that I was listening to the wrong people about parenting. I should have been listening to old people because they had all the knowledge, they had all the wisdom, they had been there, done that, and they had been in the arena for a lot longer than I had ever been in the arena. So that's what I started to do. I started to invite a group of women, 12 to be exact, over the age of 70, to my home every year for a luncheon. And I did it because I wanted to get to know these women and I wanted to pick their brains about all the different things and all the things that they had experienced as a parent. They were warehouses of knowledge and I learned a ton from them. And it's not just how to potty train, but it's how to deal with children when they become teens, how to deal with children when they become adults, how to deal with children when they're little and their friendships and all of these different things. These women knew it all. So my advice on number two is to listen to old people. Number three, parenting is a constant learning curve. They tell you that your first child is the hardest one and after that you're a pro at it. Well, that's not exactly true. The reason being is that every single child comes with a different personality. What would be great is if every child at birth had in their little paw, in their little hands rather, a book about them and about their personality and how they respond to discipline, how they respond to love and, and all of those different things so that you could go through that manual and believe me, I think every single parent would read that manual over that particular child over and over again. Well, we don't have one of those manuals, unfortunately, so we have to learn through the School of Hard Knocks and we learn uh, something every single day in raising a child. So when you're raising a child, you think you have something down packed that you know exactly how to do it, and then that next child comes along and they respond differently. So it is a constant learning curve. When they get to be teenagers, they respond differently. When they get to be adults, they respond differently to things. So I don't, I don't think that you ever become totally perfectly proficient in how to deal with every single one of your children. You can learn along the way and you will learn a lot of things, but there is so much more to learn. Okay, here's the bonus tip. This one is in incredibly important and then I'm going to share with you a couple of books. If you need to apologize to your kids about something that you screwed up as a parent, then by all means apologize to them. This is not going to demean you in any way in their eyes. In fact, they're going to think more of you. 
Um, I don't know how many of you have been raised by parents who never ever spoke the word I am sorry to you. I was. My mother did a lot of things that were very hurtful and mean to her children and she never ever once said she was sorry. What happened? She ended up with a lot of angry kids because um, kids need to know that their parents are human. You make mistakes, I make mistakes, we all make mistakes. But you don't have to be so full of pride and arrogance that you're not going to say that you're sorry to your child. This is something I mentioned in another blog or another tidbit and also in a blog. Um, what I did is on the on weekly interviews, if I had screwed up as a parent, I took the time to talk to my kids and to say to them, I am really sorry. I screwed up. I did this wrong. This is how I would like to redo it and to make it better. And I also asked for their forgiveness. Will you please forgive me for being basically a bad parent with this particular situation? Remember that. That is extremely important. Your kids will love you even more for it. All right, let me share with you some books. This one is The Magic Trees of the Mind. This is Marion Diamond. She's the one that I mentioned earlier. She also wrote Enriching Heredity. Uh, this is a great book, a really interesting book. This is an older book. So I'm going to kind of show you an older one, a middle one, and a brand new one. How Children Succeed by Paul Tuff. This is an excellent book. It goes not only into the intellect, but also different emotional things. And this one, Angela Duckworth, Grit. This one is just fairly new out. I think it made it to the New York Times bestseller as well. It's an excellent book on teaching kids perseverance and, and showing perseverance and uh, stick to itiveness as well. And that's what parenting is. And that's what being a child is. So thank you for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow. And also, if you would like to subscribe to my channel, which I would love, all you have to do is push the button below and then a the little bell will come up. Push that button as well. And then it will, uh, you'll be able to subscribe uh, or they will send you a notification every time I post. And also in my resource library on my um, uh, website, there are a ton more books about parenting that you can go and you can read and review from. Thank you so much again and I'll see you tomorrow.